we're taking a look at the Epson XP 15,000 and we're going to be looking at the settings to make sure that it is utilized properly with Acura version 10.3, which you can see on the top left. First of all, the view template needs to be set to the size of your paper. I've created some templates here for A4 paper, A3 and A3 plus. You want to set the correct widths for each of those paper types as well as the heights, but the width is critical. And I've already set it here to A4 at 8.268 inches. And I'm going to be testing here with A4 paper and then also A4 film to show you the difference. Coming over to the layout tab, the width here needs to be set to the printable width of the printer. So I've set that to 13 inches because the XP 15000 is an A3 plus width printer. This black layout here, the bigger layout, is to 13 inches, which is based on this width, which is the printer printable width of 13 inches. Showing it to you here on the printer itself, you can see that the printable width is 13 inches from here to here. That's your black layout in Acura. That's from there to there. And the red line represents the paper size, which is A4 in my, in my case, which was set from the view template screen, right? We talked about setting this to A4 size. Okay, so we have the paper size set, we have the printer width set, and we have our image in a position that is within the printable area. I'm going to go ahead and do a print here. And the paper is placed all the way to the right as you're facing the printer because that is where the printing starts. We have a guide there to hold the paper to be fed straight. You may do some modifications on the printer, perhaps to make this guide independent of this guide so that you could hold the paper in place. But the point here is to show that with the correct settings, the printer will print the image in the correct location. And there we go. We'll compare this with the print on the screen. There's your print and the print on the screen matches correctly. Next, we're going to be doing a test with DTF film. Exactly the same settings. Come over, hit print. It takes about three, four seconds for the rip to spool. And I'll open the cover just to give a sneak peek into what's going on. And you'll notice that again, it is printing in the correct location. Printout matches the layout on the screen. Next, we're going to take A3 film. Okay, A3 film is smaller than A3 plus. A3 plus would go all the way to that to that corner there. This is A3 film, and what's important to note now is that we have to go back into our view template. Again, we're inside Acro version 10.3, and this time we're going to set it to our A3 size which you either have created, predefined, or you would manually enter. The width is 
seven inches essentially. I'm going to apply. And I am leaving my layout with a 13 inches because that is the principal width of the printer. Again, as we mentioned before, the principal width of the printer is the black layout. You can see it goes to 13 inches. And the red layout now is the A3, which we set in the view template. So now my image, which was previously formatted for A4, is too small. I'm going to enlarge it for my A3. Now we're within our printable area of the film or the paper. This to this represents the A3, which is in the view template. And this to this represents the 13 inches, which is the A3+, plus, which is in the layout width section. Again, remembering that the film needs to be all the way to the right as you're facing the printer. We'll go ahead and do a test print here. And you may need guides to keep the paper going in straight, depending on how modified your printer is. You may disconnect this guide from that guide so that you could use it as a proper paper guide. But in most cases, it should feed just fine if it starts feeding correctly, as it is in this case here. Taking a sneak peek, you'll see that our print is printing correctly all the way from the one side to the other because we have the right settings, both in the view template, which pertains to the film size, and the layout width, which pertains to the printer size. We'll wait for this to finish printing. And we will note that the print matches the image on the screen.